church and good evening everyone we are blessed to be serving the lord together in the house of the lord together with all of you together with you our online family thanks for being with us tonight and if you're watching at a later time on demand again just Pulling in that moment gives the opportunity for the Spirit to do again what He did when we were here live. So we bless you, whether you're live with us right now or later. The same Spirit of God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We're here to proclaim the Lordship of Jesus Christ over the nations, over our nation, over our own homes, over our own selves. As we're, we're two weeks away from our elections here in the United States, we're coming to surrender and humble ourselves before the Lord Jesus, that his kingdom come, that his will be done, and we will yield to him and we will honor him in all circumstances. So tonight, we're preparing our hearts for this time that we can carry a continuous intercession before the throne. So thank you for being with us. I'm going to pray and our shofars are going to call us into worship tonight. Holy One, we glorify your name, Lord God of all. You are the Lord of all creation. You are the Lord of all hope. You are the God of our confession and we come to you, Jesus. We come to behold you. As we behold the Son, we behold the Father. Thank you for placing us inside of your heart, God. We yearn, we yearn to be one with you in every way, in every facet, in our thoughts, in our words, in our actions, God. Oh, Lord, we yield. We yield to your spirit tonight. Direct our steps. Direct our words. Direct the intentions of our heart, oh, God, that they would be in alignment with your heart, Lord. That the sun would be revealed on the earth, oh, God. That your sun would be revealed. Even tonight, even as we're worshiping God, May someone behold you who has never beheld you before. May they see Jesus. You're the one we're exalting, oh God. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you, oh God. And we yield. We yield. We yield. Have your way, oh God, in our midst. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lord Jesus, our Messiah our living hope. Amen.
nation's throne Come rain forevermore All blessings and honor All glory and power On every nation's throne Come rain forevermore King Jesus, Messiah The Alpha, Omega On every nation's throne Come rain forevermore
Heavenly Father, we thank you that in your Son we can be safe and we can call forth nations. We lift up your, our elder brother Israel that in these next two days we'll become on the same feast of the massacre that took place last year. Open door of wounding could open the door of retaliation, pain, but Lord, as we finish Sukkot and this call to, for the rain, we're asking for the rain of your spirit to come upon the land of Israel. Lord, to bring healing to the land, and for the land of rain to come upon the sons of Ishmael and Moab and Mount Seir, of Edom, of Ammon, and of all the nations of the 12 princes of Ishmael. Oh, Lord, that you would open eyes to see you. You would open eyes to see you, the Messiah, the glorious one, who came to pay for our sin, to dismantle the works of darkness, to bring forth a kingdom that has no end, that is righteousness, peace, and joy, and Holy Spirit. So we're asking for, for your help, your touch, your reign, Jesus, you said on the great day, the last day, the great day of the feast, like today, you said, whoever's thirsty, let him come to me and drink. You said that out of the, a believing, we would have rivers flowing from our belly. We're, ask, we're thirsty tonight, and we're here praying. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. We believe. We believe, Holy Spirit for great river to flow, for rain to come, for healing to come, for great deliverance to come in the name of our glorious Savior, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Well, we're going to get ready to receive our offerings. And Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can give. I'm so grateful for the revelation of the heavens open, the window open, the blessing being poured out. I'm so grateful that you are the one not only commanding a blessing, but rebuking the devourer for our sake. I am so grateful that it becomes evident to all and you bring us beyond this evident to all. You actually begin to uh, cause it to shift our conversation 
from it doesn't look right, doesn't sound right, it doesn't going right, to know God is faithful, God is good, God is able. Thank you, like as you taught Habakkuk, that you can't look at the way things are to judge whether God is in charge or not, but that you indeed are bringing about a big work, a great work. So Lord, we're sowing with expectancy and joy and thanksgiving. Receive our tithes and offerings here in the house and online and every other way we bring giving and tithing and offerings to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We'll go ahead and worship. spent my life listening to many voices wanting to be filled but never satisfied before then you spoke your word and all that once I'm captured, suddenly I've heard the voice that I've been longing for, knocking at the door. You are the presence of God, our inheritance, our intercessor and our the great high priest of our confession of hope. You are the presence of God, our inheritance, our intercessor and our perfection.
stand together, please. Blessed be your name, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Blessed be your name, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Lord, you are the better hope. You are the better hope. You are our high priest. There you receive our tithes and offerings. So all that has been given and all is to be given this week, in this here, in that sanctuary, digitally, online, receive. Thanks. We can receive the help that heaven brings, the commanded blessing, the causing of things to begin to sow and reap, and vines bear fruit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for what you're doing now. Thank you for the tie that brings us into that covenant place of blessing. And we bless you, Lord, for what you're going to do now in the hours and weeks months, years, come forth, Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Blessing everybody. You all can be seated. Let me share two quick things with you. Uh, um, one is that we're getting ready for the Mac McCoy's memorial service this Saturday. So if you remember Mac, you want to be here, it's 11 a.m. All of his artwork is going to be on display and the family we want to be there for the family. We have, uh, I'd love for you to, uh, the book, I don't know where it is now, so. Anyway, it's $8. It's on sale because we're writing a new one. I'd love for your prayer. If you take a little card like that and just stick it in your Bible and pray, uh, it's, we've got a second edition, small groups. That's the key for me right now. Small groups are coming. I really believe it'll be the way in which we could build around the truth, build around the word, build around the father, build around the son, have fellowship, have uh, growth, accountability, support, one for another, when with another as we go through the scriptures. So on the 10th of uh, November, we're after service, we're going to have a taco lunch. Mahanos are going to be the middle schools taking the charge on that. And if you come to the meeting, you get, you get a free lunch. So we're going to be raising money for them and uh, the middle school. So praise the Lord. Uh, today, tonight's the night we can pray for elections. Next week, next Wednesday, we're going to have Mel uh, Larry and Melanie uh, Bingman. They're here for Max service all the way from, they're coming all the way from Kentucky, but they're going to stay over. And I asked, would you guys minister? Because they are continuing to pray for the nations. Larry continues to go via Zoom to Pakistan, and they continue to see the signs, wonders, and I know he wants to share that vision with us and give us faith and touch us, and I'm sure they'll be laying on of hands because Larry always likes to pray for people. So let everybody know, and that'll be next Wednesday, which therefore uh, is the last Wednesday before the election. So tonight we're focusing on election. Dillon, come on up, please. Lead us in intercession. Everybody online, stay with us through the service on this. Hello. Good to be here. Okay. Um, let me just get myself together. Okie dokie. Um, okay, so is Andrea here? Andrea. Okay. She had a word about, um, hopefully she'll come bring it at some point in the next few weeks. She had a word about this new year, and she should probably be the one to do this, but she did say that it was, or I guess it's, that this is the year of the open window. So last year was open door. And so since you're saying open window, open window, open window, I think that's very, uh, I think the Lord is definitely speaking, uh, is, is confirming your word, Pastor Steve. And, um, and so, I, windows mean a lot to me because I say that sometimes you have an open door and then sometimes you just have an open window. You got to get, you got to do what you're doing because you may not get another opportunity. And I, I think she's got a whole other revelation. But when I read that, I thought, I so understand windows. You, you wait on the Lord for that time to speak 
or to minister or to, or to you know, like if it's your kid to correct or whatever, and you get that window when they're going to pay attention to you for about a few minutes. You get that window and you jump in and you say, la dee 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 everything you need to say, and then the window's closed. So, okay. Um, All righty. So we're going to start tonight. There's just a couple of things before we're going to pray. We're not, I didn't even do, um, I didn't even do flight uh, handouts because we're just going to focus on elections tonight. So it's going to be pretty easy. When we break into small groups, we're going to pray for the elections. We're going to pray first and foremost that we have an election. And um, so it's already started. Voting has already started. So, so far, so good. We're having an election. Um, Okay. I just want to read this again, Song of Solomon 6. Thou art beautiful, O my love, as terza. Thou art beautiful, O my love, as delightsomeness. Thou art beautiful, O my love, as pleasure and as beauty. Comely as Jerusalem, terrible, dreadful, frightening, as an army with banners. That's who we are. So don't forget it. That's who you are. That's who we are. Um, We do have... Uh, massive shifts in the world. World orders are kind of clashing and rearranging, and new world orders are bringing, uh, are giving birth to newer world orders. And right now in Russia, in Kazan, I'm sure you guys know, is the BRICS meeting. And the reason this is important for us to remember in prayer, BRICS is Brazil, Russia, India, China, and Saudi Arabia. Um, Those are the countries that make up BRICS, B-R-I-C-S. And they have established a new, um, a new, what did they establish? A new world bank. Let's see, a new development bank. They're going to come up with a new currency, which will be gold-backed, which now 22 countries have just joined today 22 they five more countries joined which was um let's see who joined five five other countries that joined egypt the uae united arab emirates ethiopia iran and saudi arabia who quit doing the petrodollar so the petrodollar is done and turkey has applied and showed up turkey's there right now in russia and um, China, all the leaders are there. If you want to read about it, you can go on to um, Times of India and read a lot, or you can go on to TRT World, that's Turkey. This is what they said. The 16th BRICS summit is underway in Russia with the 36 member countries, 36 member countries, talking about an alternative currency to the dollar as a way to reduce America's global influence. 45% of the world's population and 35% of the world's GDP is represented at the summit. So this um, this is something we want to keep in prayer and ask the Lord to really give us a whole lot of wisdom. And um, uh, Putin calls it unipolar. So it's a new new world order. (laughs) So I'm sure the Lord's going to give us a lot of wisdom, knowledge, understanding. He's going to give us counsel. He's going to give us a spirit of might. He's going to give us a spirit of the fear of the Lord. I'm always excited to see what our Father has in store for us. And if things are shifting, things are shifting, and Father is about a billion steps ahead. So he's going to take us where he's going to take us, and we're going for the ride. And we're going to remember who we are, that we're beautiful, that we're comely, that we're delightsome, that we, and that we are terrible as an army. I'm so sorry. We're frightful as an army. So we're not insecure, and we're not scared, and we're not overbearing. We're not judgmental. We're not condemning. And, and so we're going to find the whole counsel of God. We're going to be filled with the spirit of wisdom and knowledge and understanding and counsel and might and the fear of the Lord. And we're going to be the wise ones, the shinest stars. That's who we are. And that's what's going to happen to us as we shed off this whole season of timidity and uh, fear. We're, we're going to shed all that, okay? So we went through the dry run. And we're going to put all that off. And we're going to stand in the knowledge of who we are. So help us, God. <laughs> okay. Um, 
So I had a dream this morning, and it was, it was one of, a very rare prophetic dream. Sometimes I don't get a lot of prophetic dreams, but when I get one, they're really, really, really intense. And this one, I was crying and crying and crying and crying, and I was being asked, what is the name of your message? What is it? We need the name of your message. Give us the name of your message. What is it? What is it now? What's the name of your message? And I said, the name of the message is the cry of our father. So, which was interesting because I had this scripture in my notes already from several weeks back, Ezekiel 9, 4. And the glory of God, of the God of Israel was gone up from the cherub, whereupon he was to the threshold of the house. And he called to the man, he called to the man clothed with linen, which had the writer's inkhorn by his side. And the Lord said to him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So our father is not, um, he, he's not throwing a party about uh, what's happening right now, nor is he scared, nor is he confused, nor is he anything, but he is marking the ones who are extreme, come engaging with him in this moment. He is marking us. We want to be mindful of that. So we want to put off complacency. We want to put off our insecurity. We want to put off our uh, uh, lethargy and our apathy and our uh, languishing, which is a Philistine. Delilah means to languish. That's what got the prophet. That's what got Samson, the true son of God. The son, his name means sunshine. He's a very um, intense. He's really who we are. He's really who we can be. And, um, and so he was the first son of God the Lord ever showed me. But that's who goes after a prophet or a prophetic voice or a prophetic movement or a prophetic ministry is a languishing spirit. She's a languishing spirit. So she gets you to, you know, eventually you're going you're gonna to start sharing your heart and you're going to lose. You'll, you, so we don't want to do that. We're going to learn from our brother, Samson not to have our eyes gouged out, to have our hair cut off, and not give away, like Hezekiah did, what our father, so we're going to be mindful of that. So um, what am I trying to say? I just really want us to understand who we are, come into it, and, and um, really put off apathy, languishing, depression, oppression, anxiety. Um, Andrew, is that you? Oh, okay. So in a minute, um, I think maybe at like the last 10 minutes. Can you share? Okay. Awesome. Um, okay. This is a scripture the Lord gave me for tonight, and it is Psalm 30. I think it's Psalm 35. Plead my cause, O Lord. So this is, we're America right now. As we read this, we're going to be America. This David, but this is we are we're going to pray this prayer and we are this scripture, this word of the Lord, as though we are America. Plead our cause, O Lord, with them that strive with us, fight against them that fight against us. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for our help. Draw out also the spear and the top and stop the way against them that persecute us. Say to our soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after our soul. Let them, that, let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise our hurt. We've got a lot of enemies have come in um, in our midst. A lot of enemies. They have come in. They've been, been given an open door, so to speak. So we're asking the Lord in Jesus' name, let them be as chaff before the wind, not the people. This is just an agenda. This is, I'm speaking against an agenda, a narrative, an idea, an ideology. I'm not speaking against man right now. I hope we know that. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after our soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise our hurt. Let them be as chaff before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause have they hid for us their net in a pit without which cause they have digged for our soul. Let destruction come upon him unaware, and let his net that he hath hid catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall. This is an unclean spirit. 
that we're speaking to. And our joy may be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in your salvation, Lord. All of our bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee, which delivers the poor from him that is too strong for him. Yea, the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him. So that's the scripture the Lord gave me for tonight um, regarding our elections and our borders. Was it Psalm 35? Thank you. Okay, Psalm 35, and I think it's 1 through um, 10. Okay. Um, so, let's see. The cry of our Father in the natural, anywhere crimes against humanity, inc including war crimes, on any side, on any side, whether we do them or whether somebody else does them. It grieves the Lord. And spiritual um, and then spiritually, just things that creep in that um, are not from him. So we want to pray. Let's see what time is it. It's quarter till. Maybe you can bring the word and then, because once we separate into groups, it's kind of hard to unseparate. So do you want to you wanna bring that, Amanda? I mean, Amanda. Andrea. Thank you. Sorry. Go ahead, honey. Yeah, that, that should be on. Test us. Okay. <laughs> well, good evening, everyone. I'm Andrea, and thank you, Dylan, for letting me share this word the Lord gave me. Actually, it was a vision, and it's pretty quick, so um, I hope not to take too much of your time, but I think it's pertinent for what's happening. And yes, we are in the middle of a battle, as Dylan was saying. And, um, you know, just to preface this, the Lord. Uh, in 2020, the Lord gave me a, a really very a unique encounter. Um, he, he took me up and, and he introduced me to uh, five biblical figures. And um, just to piggyback, uh, one of those was Elijah. And so I really think that we're, we are in this battle and it's like this battle like Elijah had with um, the prophets of Baal. And so we're going to see this on a grand scale, I believe. We're, we're just seeing this good and evil, this battle between, and of course the Lord wins. But here's my vision real quick. Um, on 7-21-24, I had a vision while waking up in the morning. I saw Trump sitting at a table. Um, others were at the table too, but they were in the shadows and I couldn't make out who they were. Um, but I believe they were his, obviously, his opponents, right? Uh, the, the kind of people that Dylan was talking about. I saw cards on the table. Trump was highlighted by a ceiling light. I saw him holding a handful of cards and I was able to position myself behind him so I could see the cards. And he held a handful of cards. They were all aces. And that's really the end of the vision. Um, I asked the Lord about it. Uh, <laughs> um, also, you can look up trump card just as a word. It is in the dictionary. And it basically means um, like to override things. Um, and it, it, there's a whole host of um, definitions that are really interesting. I encourage you to look that up. Um, but to, for the sake of time. Um, so I asked the Lord, and he had a word to say. Um, the trump card will make a way where there seems to be no way. I have established Trump. I have raised Trump up and established him as a trump card. I have done it. It was me, says the Lord. So <laughs> that's what I heard really strongly. So I believe that what he's saying is that no matter what opposition might be coming at him, um, the Lord has established him, raised him up, anointed, appointed him. He and he, the hand of God is on him. Um, and so I really believe that the Lord is just saying that 
you know, and of course, Trump is not God. He's just a man, of course. We, we worship the Lord. Um, we worship Jesus. Um, and my trust is in Elohim, uh, um, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Um, Jesus is my Lord and Savior. But, you know, he uses people, you know, and he's right now he's using Trump. And that's what he's saying in this, this vision. So, Father, I just thank you, Lord, for this. And we declare and decree that your trump card will be played against the opposition and will make a way where there seems to be no way for your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. We recognize that you are working out a grand mystery. We recognize that we may not understand all of your card moves or all of your chess moves. However, we recognize, Father, that every move you make in this game against evildoers who have committed decades of crimes against humanity is carefully orchestrated by you. We declare and decree that your handiwork will manifest for your good purposes and for the good of those who love you on earth as it is in heaven. We declare and decree that we will partner with you a yes and amen. We know that ultimately you will win this game and that you are using Donald J. Trump in your process of winning. Amen and amen. Thank you. Okay. We're going to use the rest of our time because we really want to focus, so we're going to pray that we have elections, that the elections go off without a massive event, without a false flag or a black swan event, that we, the power stays on, no, we, you know, we know how to pray. And um, the will of God be done on earth as it is in heaven, and we call in his will, we call in his kingdom, we call in his kingdom, so... That's really the focus tonight, so we can just do that. If y'all want to, go ahead and get in your groups. And I will lead us on prayer or um, online, and um, you guys can pray with me. I'm your prayer partner online. Thank you, Father. Okay, so we're going to pray. Um, we're going to pray that we have an election and that it is honest and that it is... Um, done with integrity and so thank you father lord i just join myself right now lord with my brothers and sisters online i thank you father i bless you lord god lord we just worship you we just worship you we love you we bless you we honor you you are king of kings you're lord of lords nothing is too difficult for you you're the god of all flesh lord you are the great i am you are the way maker you are elohim El Shaddai, Jehovah Jireh, Yahweh Rapha, you're our deliverer, you're our healer, you're our shield, you're our buckler, you are our high tower, Lord God, you're our refuge, you're our strength, Lord, you're our savior, you're our deliverer, Lord, there's nothing you cannot do, nothing is impossible with God, nothing is impossible with God, we confess that, we proclaim that, Lord, this is our confession, the confession of our heart, Lord that you are all in all, Lord. And we bless you for who you are, Father God. We bless you in Jesus' name. So, Father, we just surround the United States right now with our love. We surround the United States with our love. We put up and raise up right now in the name of Jesus in agreement, our shield of faith that quenches all the fiery darts of the wicked one. We take our, our sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, and Father, we proclaim right now that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, we condemn it. For this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And our righteousness is of the Lord. So I thank you, Father. I thank you for delivering us from iniquity, generational iniquity in our land, generational trespasses, generational curses in our land. I thank you, Father God, for ancient systems that were put into place, unclean, secret society, ancient systems that were put into place, Father God. Lord, I thank you for upending every bit of it, Father, in the name of Jesus. You are quite capable of healing a land. You are quite capable of cleansing a land, cleansing a nation, turning a nation, healing a nation. And we beseech you, Lord, to forgive us of our sins. We beseech you, Lord God, 
to sanctify our land and to sanctify our government and to sanctify, Father God, our whole educational system, the whole thing, Lord. If there is going to be a great reset, Father God, that darkness wants to do, then we know that you are resetting, Lord. We know that he is only a counterfeit of you, Father. And so we bless you, Lord God, for your order in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father God, for your order, your kingdom to come, your will to be done. We call in your will, Father, in Jesus' name. We just lift up our eyes to heaven in the spirit and we call on the will of God and we call on the will of God that the will of God would come onto the United States of America, onto our election infrastructure, onto our government, onto our systems, onto our counties, our cities, our states, Lord God, in Jesus' name, our federal government, Lord God, in Jesus' name, that your will would be done in our midst, that your will would be done Father God, in, in the, um, the House of Representatives, Lord, in the Senate, Father, in Jesus' name. Father, we call in those that are chosen of God. We call them in, Father, in Jesus' name. We call in the votes for them that are, that are your people, Lord, the ones that you want to use, Father God. Lord, whether they're saved, whether they're unsaved, no matter who they are, Father God, you, if, they, if you have anointed them to lead, Father, we come in agreement with you that they come forth in Jesus' name and that your will would be established in the Senate. Your will will be established in the House of Representatives, Father God, and we are beseeching you. Tonight, we are beseeching you that you would not give us over to our own devices, that you would not give us over to our own devices, Father, in Jesus' name. And that you would not give us over, Father God, to any sort of coup, any staged coup, Father God. Any trumped up or, um, or engineered um, event, Father God, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that you would forgive us, Father God, for any time we weaponized our finances, Lord. Any time we weaponized the, the U.S. currency against other nations, Father God. We ask that you forgive us for doing that, Father, in Jesus' name. That you forgive us, Father God. Lord, we're asking that you have mercy on us in Jesus' mighty name. And that you forgive us for being unkind or, to, or for lying or cheating or stealing or bribing or in any way, Father God, harming any other nation with our currency, Father, in Jesus' name. With our laws, Father, in Jesus' name for traveling and going to other nations and, and pushing an unclean agenda, Father. Lord, in Jesus' name, I pray, Father God, that you heal our land, that you sanctify, sanctify our land, Lord. And we pray, Father God, for your candidates to be established, Lord, the ones you've chosen, the ones you're appointing, Lord God, that you anoint them, Father God, to endure, that you protect their lives, Father, in Jesus' name, that you protect them, Father God, from, um, from accusation, Father, in Jesus' name. Father, we just pray for every single solitary person that you want to raise up, Lord God, to lead in California, Father, in the name of Jesus. We just call in righteous judgment in California, righteousness in our governing in California, that you overturn unclean laws. We speak in overturning to abortion up to birth in Jesus' name. We overturn that. We speak in overturning to that, Father, that you overturn that, Lord. In Jesus' name, we reject it. The sons of God reject it. The people of God reject it. The bride of Christ rejects it in Jesus' name. We reject every unclean law. We reject every unclean statute. We reject every single unclean work, Father, in Jesus' name of death and destruction of a death cult, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we reject it in Jesus' name. I thank you for opening up the eyes of our understanding that we would be enlightened. I thank you for showing us the truth. I bless you, Father God. I bless you, Father. Even though it's difficult to see, Lord, I thank you for the truth. I thank you, Father. Lord, I thank you that we're not scared to talk about stuff. Father, I pray that you make us just that we shepherd, Lord, that, that, that your church shepherds the people, Father God, that we are actual salt, that we don't lose our flavor and, and are, are no good. Lord, that we don't hide our light under a bushel, Lord, in Jesus' name. I pray, Father God, that you set us all on fire, Lord God, and wherever we go, the fire of God goes, the kingdom of God goes, the healing and the deliverance and the salvation of the kingdom of God goes, that you uproot fear from us, Father God, especially me, fear of man, Father, in Jesus' name. 
Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for your word, that your word is truth. I thank you, Father God, for the power of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord. I bless you, Lord. Father, uh, we are asking you, Father God, for the soul of California, for the mind of California. We pray, Father God, that the mind of California is the mind of Christ, is a sound mind. Father, we uproot, we cancel, we nullify insanity. We uproot, cancel, and nullify, Father God, all uncleanness, Father, all perversions, Father God, all deception, Father, in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Father. I thank you not only for California, Father God, but for all of the states, Lord God, our union, Lord, our republic, Lord, in Jesus' name. And Father, you're able to completely shake up Washington, D.C. Father, we just pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you forgive us, forgive us, Father, for, e for every single moment that we have been um, complacent, Lord. Forgive me for complacency, Father, in Jesus' name. So, Lord, we are asking you, Father God, to be very present. We're asking for your wisdom in this election, Father God. Lord, we pray for our federal elections, Father, in Jesus' name, and we reject communism. We reject an ungodly coup. We reject a communist coup. We reject all terrorism in, within our borders. We reject it in the name of Jesus Christ. We reject right now in the name of Jesus Christ every single engineered false flag, Father, that if something happens, Father God, Lord, we are asking you, Father, in Jesus' name, that you would bring to light, you would bring the truth to light, Father, that you would, you would stop it, Lord, that you would cause them, just like Psalm 35 said, Father God, that they would fall in their own pit in the name of Jesus, that you would discomfit the enemy, Father God. We reject the plans of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. And one of the things that happens with uh, secret societies um, like Freemasons and all that is that they have to, they're bound to, um, to, to put forth what they're doing to kind of, um, it's kind of hidden in plain sight, so to speak. And so they have to say what they're doing. And then, and then they say, well, you didn't do anything to stop it. And so we're dealing with this spiritually. We are not, we're dealing with this spiritually, which is what our fathers called us to do. And so we do reject the plans. We do reject the plans. We reject ungodly plans. We do. We do say no. We resist the devil. The word of God tells us, submit ourselves to God and resist the devil and he will flee. And the word of God is truth. And so that is what we do. We just speak on behalf. We stand as intercessors. We stand in the gap right now as intercessors and we take up the spirit of supplication and we receive right now the spirit of grace and we receive the spirit of grace to supplicate and to make proclamation right now that no weapon formed against our nation shall prosper. No weapon formed against our election shall prosper. No weapon shall prosper. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. No weapon formed against our elections shall prosper. And every single tongue that has risen up against us in judgment, we condemn because that's our heritage. That's our heritage. That's the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And our righteousness is not of our own. It's not our own. Our righteousness is of the Lord. That's what he said and he's God. He's God. And he said our righteousness is of him. So we come right now as blood bought people. We're blood bought. We're not our own. We're slaves of righteousness. And we come right now to decree and declare right now in Jesus' name that we reject the works and the narrative and the agenda of darkness to kill, to steal, and to destroy. We have seen your plans. We have heard the plans. And we reject them in Jesus' name. So I thank you, Father. I thank you for truth. I thank you, Father God. I thank you for your truth. I thank you for your wisdom. I just speak right now in the name of Jesus Christ that the eyes of our understanding be enlightened, that the eyes of our understanding be opened, that under the heart's eyes see, that our hearts see, and that we have insight, and that we even have common sense, common sense, an ability to look and to see and to discern, to know and to understand. I thank you, Father God, that you give this to us. Lord, if we lack it, we do lack wisdom, Father for most things, 
We, we just do. We lack wisdom for most things. So we call for the Lord to pour out wisdom upon us in Jesus' name. Lord, that you pour out your wisdom on us. We need it. We need your wisdom, Father. We need your wisdom, Father, that you pour out your wisdom on us, Lord, liberally and without reproach. That's the word of the Lord, liberally and without reproach. We're not apologetic. We're not apologetic for calling out for wisdom, and we receive it. We don't doubt in our hearts that, that he has given us wisdom. Because if we doubt in our hearts, we are double-minded. And let not a double-minded believe he's going to get anything from the Lord. So we set our hearts to receive wisdom. So if he wants to make us wise, he gets to do that. I thank you, Father, for making us wise. I thank you for wisdom, Father God. I bless you for that, Father. That you're able to give us your wisdom Thank you for pouring it forth, Lord. Thank you for pouring forth the anointing of the Lord. Thank you for pouring forth, Lord, your Holy Spirit on all flesh. So we pray right now for all flesh in the United States. We pray right now for all flesh that the Spirit of the Lord is poured out upon all flesh for salvation, for healing, and for deliverance. Father, we just thank you for your Spirit to come upon our nation. We call on you, Lord, that your spirit would come, that you would come, that the kingdom of God come, come upon the United States of America, come upon our republic, come upon our union, come upon our state. Father, in Jesus' name, we are asking for the spirit of the Lord. We're asking you for the spirit of the Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, that you would come, that your kingdom would come, your righteousness would come, your peace would come, Lord. And all of these things, all of these ways that they want to bring upon us, Father God, all be confused. They all come down, Lord. You gave David victory, Father. All the time you gave him victory, Father, with his enemies. And Lord, we ask that you would give us victory with, against our enemies, Father. Of all the narrative to put us in digital prisons and all that stuff. All the yucky stuff. Father, I thank you. I thank you, Father God, that you are quite powerful. I thank you, Father, for creation. I thank you for protecting creation. I thank you for the sky. I thank you for the sun. I thank you for the stars. I thank you for the moon. I thank you for the hills. I thank you for the mountains. I thank you for the valleys. I thank you for our atmosphere. I thank you, Father God, for our breath. I thank you for life. I thank you for life. I thank you, Lord. We bless you. We're grateful, Lord. We thank you, Father God. Lord, I just up, I cancel and uproot all anxiety right now in the name of Jesus. Anxiety fractures our very being. Look up the word. It means to fracture into pieces. So we reject anxiety. We don't live with anxiety. We don't say, oh, that's my pet anxiety. I got it in my pocket. That's my pet. Every now and then he comes out and it bites me. No, we cancel anxiety. We will not be fractured into pieces. I thank you, Father, for healing us and uprooting depression and anxiety and fear from us, Lord God, in Jesus' name. And we are grateful. Lord, your word says to be anxious for nothing. So, Father, I pray that the sons of God will not be found fearful, that the sons of God would not be found in anxiety, Father God. And we wouldn't be found harsh either or critical or judgmental, Father. You're able to perfect our nature, Lord, you're able to cause us to partake of your divine nature, Father, and I pray that we are partakers of your divine nature, Lord, that you perfect us, you perfect those things which concern us, Lord. I thank you, Father. Thank you, Father God. Lord, we thank you. We worship you. We bless you. We honor you, Father. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for leading us right now. Thank you for helping us right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We love you. We're so grateful to you, Father God. We're grateful for this land. We're grateful for every one of us that were born here, for every single one of us. Father God, that you have established us here. Father, we're, whether we were born here or not, but you established us here, Father. Lord, we're grateful. We're grateful for our nation. We're grateful, Father. Forgive us, Father God, for speaking evil against our, or, or being so upset that we just say yucky. We curse, Father. Father, we just cancel every curse against us in the name of Jesus. 
We cancel every single curse against us in the name of Jesus. We cancel every curse against the United States of America in Jesus' name. We cancel every curse. We uproot every curse. We nullify every curse. We nullify every word curse. All the witchcraft that is being, all the spells, the hexes, the vexes, the incantations. Lord, we cancel. We nullify. We thank you, Father God, for a fiery hedge of protection. I thank you, Lord, for a fiery hedge of protection around our borders. I thank you, Father God, for hedging us with your protection, Father. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for protecting us, Father. I thank you for angelic help and angelic hosts to be loosed from heaven, that you charge them, Father God, to come and to stand, Father God, to protect, Father, to war, Father, in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord. I bless you for your holy angels, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord, that you would spare us, that you would save us. Thank you, Father. I thank you, Father God, for... I thank you, Father, for the presidency, Lord. We need your help, Father. We need your help, Father. Lord, that you would come and that you would lead our nation, Father. Lead our nation, Father God. We pray, Father God, in Jesus' name, that you would not allow all of the cursing that has come to say this election will be stolen. Father, would you stop it? Would you stop it from being stolen, Father? In Jesus' name, we put our trust in you, Father God. We put our trust in you, Lord God, that you, Father, would protect our elections, Father, in Jesus' name. We call upon you to do that, Lord. We just cancel right now every single plan to steal in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let the thieves be caught. If there are any thieves, if there's any wicked way, Father God, let it be exposed. Let it come to light. Bring forth, bring forth, Father God, the exposing of it, Father, in Jesus' name. Bring it forth, Father, in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. I pray, Father God, that you would put it in our hearts to get up, Father God, and to go and cast our vote, Lord. I pray, Father God, that your people would rise up from complacency. I pray that your people would rise up, Father God, from all justification of why they don't move or why they don't have a say or, or whatever the reasoning is, whatever the justification is, Father God. I'm asking you, Lord, that you speak to your people, Lord, to get up and go forth, Father God, into our constitutional duty, Lord. And Father, in Jesus' name, that you would wake us up and that you would bring us forth. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for uprooting frustration. I thank you for uprooting all fear. I thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Okay. I don't know if I can pray for 20 more minutes for the election, so I'm going to move on to other stuff because we've got a lot, so... Hopefully everybody else will move on too if they feel like they've, unless I've missed anything. Father, if you just bring it right now to my mind, right now if I've missed anything about the elections, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father God, Lord. Thank you for your power. Thank you, Father God, for your final say. You have the final word, Lord. You have the final word, Father. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. I do come against, Father God. I do thank you, Lord, that there's no no more assassination attempts against anyone, Father. Lord, on any side, on any side of the aisle, Father, on which I don't even know if there is an aisle, to be honest. I don't even think there is. But, Father, I just thank you, Lord God, that you would just speak peace and rest right now, that you would arrest darkness from rising up, Father God, to manipulate through death, to, to manipulate through assassination, to overtake, Father God, to usurp, Father, in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that you would do that, Father, that you would protect life, Father, in Jesus' name. All of them. It would be just as yucky if, if anybody from what we don't agree with were, were to be assassinated. It, it, the whole, any of it would be bad. So, Father, I just thank you for preserving life in Jesus' name. 
that you would please do that, Father, in the name of Jesus. We beseech you, Father God, to protect every single person, Lord, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' mighty name. And since I prayed about the bricks, let me just, since I mentioned the bricks earlier, let's just pray about that in agreement. Thank you, Father. I thank you, Father God. Lord, I just thank you for everything going on, Lord. (sighs) Father, Lord, you see right now all the plans being made. You see, you're very much aware, Father, of all the plans being made, Father God, that would try to harm us. And Father, it's understandable, Father God, we have sinned, we have used, we have... Um, weaponized our currency. We, we've done that. And Father, all I can, I just pray that you would please forgive us, Lord. That you would forgive us and that you would have mercy on us, Father. Lord, help us, Father God, to be a righteous land. Help us, Father. Help us, Father God, to not love money, Father. Please, Father God, remove corruption from our midst, Father God. Please, Father God, deliver us from uncleanness in our heart, Father, the heart of our nation, Father God. I thank you, Father. Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over us, Father God. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over us that you, Lord God, would protect our currency, that you would protect us, Father God, from harsh judgment father that you would forgive us father god i know i know we went i know we deserve judgment every one every person alive deserves judgment father but i'm asking you for your mercy lord i'm asking you for your mercy father i thank you lord i thank you for bringing whatever correction needs to come by your judgments the earth learns righteousness And Father, I want to be mindful of you and not mindful of men. But I do pray, Father, that you do have mercy. Because your word also says that mercy triumphs over judgment. So I do ask you, Father, in agreement with my brothers and sisters, Father God, for your mercy. For your mercy, Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, that you would protect us, Father God, from an economic crash Lord, in Jesus' name, economic, just fam- the whole thing that comes with it, Father, starvation and just lack and loss. And Father, dark days, we see dark days loom ahead. And we're asking you, Father, in Jesus' name, that you would push it back. That you would push it back, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you would spare us. I pray that you would spare our nation. I pray, I pray that you spare our currency, Father God, and that you fix it. That you fix it. A, a, a debt system, Father God, that you fix it, Lord. Father, I thank you, Father God. I know that nothing is too difficult for you, Father. So, Lord, we do ask you, Father God, to spare us and to have mercy on us and to forgive us and to heal us. Heal our whole economic structure, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. That you would heal our financial structure in Jesus' mighty name. Our whole banking system, our whole debt system, Father God. That you would overhaul it, Father. That you would have your way, Father, in Jesus' name. That you would bring peace and you would bring truth, Father, in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord, that you're big enough to do something like that. I just hear right now the accusations of naivete and maybe I am being naive but I believe the Lord I believe you Father I believe you Father God that you can do anything you want to do you can even heal our currency Lord and you can you can reorder it you can restructure it you can do whatever it is you need to do I just pray that you give us eyes to see when you are doing it Father that we wouldn't fight against you Thank you, Father, for healing us. Thank you for healing us. Thank you for healing us, Father. You see these nations that are rising up, Father God. And so, I just ask for your mercy, Lord. And your wisdom to know what to do and to how to move forward, Father. Prepare us, Lord. Prepare us, Father, in Jesus' name. 
I pray that you do prepare us, that you give us your wisdom and show us what to do and how to move, Lord, how to put one foot in front of the other, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. And I do believe the Lord wants us to tithe. I do believe the Lord wants this nation to tithe. And I do pray for a movement, a tithing movement, a movement in the land, a movement in the United States of tithing. Father, I pray in Jesus' mighty name that you would open up the hearts of your people. Lord, that all your people begin to tithe into their home churches. All your people begin to tithe and that there be food in our storehouses and that your, your sanctuary, Father God, would be a refuge, a place of refuge, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for strategy. I thank you, Father God, for the tithe. I thank you for its holiness, its witness that you're alive, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord God. I pray that you would open up our hearts to give and to pour into our home churches, Lord, in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father. Father, I pray that you would establish this in our nation, Father, in Jesus' name, and that you would fill your storehouses with food. Father, in the name of Jesus, and that your churches across our land would be storehouses for food, Father, in Jesus' name. Houses of refuge, Father, in the name of Jesus. Houses of prayer for the nations, in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father God, for your anointing to be upon us to do this, for your spirit to be upon us, Father God, to be successful in this endeavor, Father God, that you would plant it, this seed in our hearts, Father, in Jesus' name. That this nation is, is peculiar and set apart to God in that we have raised a holy tithe to offer our Father and to provide food for your people, Father, in Jesus' name. I bless you for that, Father. I bless you, Lord. I thank you, Father. I bless you for the bread and for the wine. I pray that you feed our land, Lord. Father, we cancel every plan of engineered famine. We cancel every single plan of engineered uh, social engineering. All... Um, climate engineering, all of it, Father. We cancel every single bit of it, Father God. Thank you, Father, that your arm is not too short. I bless you, Father. Thank you, Father God, for your grace, for your grace, for your grace, for your grace, Lord. We call upon you for your grace. We call upon you for your mercy, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father God. Okay, let me see. We pray for the whole Middle East, Lord. Lord, all the lands that are where the war drums are beating, Russia, Ukraine, China, Lord, um, North Korea, South Korea, Lebanon, all the Middle East, the whole Middle East, um, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. And I don't know if there's any other country of uh, the United States. Father God, Lord, I pray that you would please cancel all these war drums, all of the military industrial complexes, um, designs, and whatever, whatever it is that men are, are doing, Father. Whatever it is that they're doing, Father, in Jesus' name, we speak peace. We speak peace. We speak peace in the name of Jesus Christ. We speak peace to Israel in Jesus' name. We speak peace to you, Israel. We speak peace to you. You would not move in fear. You would not be riled up. You would be cal Father, we just pray in Jesus' name that you would calm, calm Israel. Calm Israel. Surround Jerusalem. Surround Jerusalem, Lord, with your peace. Surround Jerusalem with your peace, Father God. We speak peace to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed. Let your uh, hurt feelings and hurt hearts and hurt bodies and hurt minds, assaults, be healed in the name of Jesus. Generational healing. Generational healing in Jesus' name. That your minds be healed in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray in Jesus' name for mercy. For mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, for every other nation... In the Middle East, Father, I pray for your peace to come, that your peace would be established on earth as it is in heaven. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, I thank you for protecting every Christian, Lord, in the name of Jesus. 
I pray, Father, I pray, Father God, that you would be mindful of every civilian who doesn't have a heart of war, for every civilian, Father God, that loves their neighbor. Lord, I'm asking you to please, please, Father God, Lord, please, Father God, intervene. We're calling on you to intervene, Father God, for every single peaceful civilian, Lord, in Jesus' name. You would have mercy in the whole entire Middle East, the whole entire Middle East, Father, in Jesus' name, that your kingdom would come, Lord, that your kingdom would come, Lord. Father, I pray that you open up their eyes of their understanding to receive Jesus Christ as Lord, to receive Jesus Christ as Lord. Father, their peace, Lord. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. Lord, we just come against strife. We come against contention, Father. In our land, drummed up contention, drummed up strife. Father, we renounce and reject hatred. We renounce and reject division. We renounce and reject it from our midst in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you, Lord, for your love. I bless you for love. I bless you for the power of love. I bless you, Father God. We call on love to come. Love to come upon our nation. Love to come on our civilization. Love to come on our country. Love to come on our land. Love to come in our highways and our byways. Love to come, that love comes. We call on the love of God, the love of God, the love that heals, the love that believes all things. I bless you, Lord. I bless you for your love. I bless you for the power of your love. I bless you for the power of your resurrection. Your love, Lord Jesus. I bless you for your love, Lord. I thank you, Father God, for making, Father, for giving us insight into this love, Lord, to receive this love, to cause love to flow out of us, Lord. Lord, I thank you, Father God, that our identity is love. Lord, in Jesus' name, we bless you. We bless you, Father. Thank you, Father God. I've got just a few more minutes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. There's a lot more that I that I want that I can't will bring up in the future, but I'm, I don't want to bring it up tonight. Father, I just thank you, Lord God, that there's lots and lots and lots of voices. And I pray, Father, I cancel every single voice but the voice of the Holy Spirit. Father, I pray over our senses right now in Jesus' name and for every single person online watching right now in Jesus' name. I pray over your senses, over your vision, your touching, your tasting, your smelling, your hearing in Jesus' name. That your senses, your spiritual senses, and even your natural systems, system. What word am I looking for? senses would be sanctified in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for sanctifying our senses. Lord, I bless you for anointing our senses, Lord, in Jesus' name, giving us eyes to see and ears to hear and hearts to understand what the word of the Lord is, what your will is, Father, in Jesus' name. I pray for us, Father, in Jesus' name, that we see, that we know, that we understand, that we discern, that we perceive. I thank you for that, Father, in Jesus' name. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Father, any single person that is battling, Father, depression or oppression, Father God, I pray that you would intervene and uproot it. I pray for worship. I pray for a spirit, Father God, of gratitude. I pray for grateful hearts. I pray for breakthrough. And I just want to give a word right now. I believe that there is breakthrough in marriages. If you have been waiting for years and years to be married, I believe there is breakthrough in marriages. And I want to right now prophesy that if you've been waiting for a long time to get married, that the Lord brings your husband, the Lord brings your wife, that you are married, that you are not alone, and that the Lord join you with your, with your spouse that's been ordained from the foundations of this world. Father, I pray for breakthrough, Father God, for every single person that has waited, that has longed, Father God, that has put their hope in you and their trust in you. I pray right now for marriages, for breakthrough, that you're not going to be alone forever. And I speak that breakthrough. I speak that your spouse come forth in Jesus' name, 
that your spouse come forth in Jesus name for any of our kids our grandkids whoever if you know somebody receive that for them I do truly believe that is a word of the Lord and so by faith I prophesy that in Jesus name no more waiting no more sadness no more loneliness no more aloneness no more longing no more forlornness no more depression no more no more no more father we just call them forth right now come be joined come be joined with your rightful spouse in the name of Jesus Christ and uprooting every hindrance to that father in Jesus name okay I'm glad I remembered that because I can I just put that in so let me let's see I want to pray let me find what I want to pray I want to pray um, there was a scripture I was going to pray Praise you, Jesus. Please bring that to my mind right now. Thank you, Lord. Um, let me find my scripture. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I have a prayer I want to pray. It was the uh, word of the Lord. Okay, here it is. Okay. Okay. If you want to turn me on so that I can speak it over everybody. Thank you, Lord. Okay, we're going to do the scripture, uh, Ephesians 4, as our closing. We're going to read it as a prayer. I thank you, Father. Anyway, thank you for coming tonight, you guys. I'm just grateful. Ephesians 4, I thank you, Father God, that you have given some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers i thank you father that is for the perfecting of the saints and for the work of the ministry for the edifying of the body of christ until we all come into the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the son of god unto a perfect man unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of christ that we henceforth would be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they have light and wait to deceive but speaking the truth in love father would you cause us to grow up in you in all things which is the head even you jesus christ from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint bond connection supplieth and contributes according to the effectual working and the energy in the measure of every part maketh increase and causes us to grow of the body unto the edifying the architecture a structure a confirmation of itself in love in jesus name amen